one, one of, these, of days. these days. But that day is not today, unfortunately. Well, we have uh, three pieces tonight, um, all of which are by Anonymous, I believe. Am I correct? Mm, yes, I yes. do believe so. Hopefully, Anonymous people do come on the air at some point, and uh, that is an option available to anyone who does submit to actually be on the show. Huh. And, and you don't even have to be in the Chico area. You can always call in. Mm. That is an option. That is an option, and Sierra can tell you how relaxed this is. Pretty nonchalant. It's pretty relaxed. I'm not holding her at gunpoint to say that. Uh, nope. <laughs> Kevin, please hey, don't joke don't about that sound on air. Nervous. Uh, no. Please don't joke about that on air. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And in no way am I paying you to be here. You just of I your wish. own volition. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I wish is a good. Kevin, you and I don't even get paid <laughs> to be on here. This is all volunteer. We do it because we love it. Because of the art. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. We are the. What have I said? We are the frame. You guys are the art. So come submit Aww. things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get into the first piece. Uh, this one, I believe, is untitled, um, and we'll just dive right into it. Lighten up, said the cloud. I looked up to reply, but it had passed. Remain strong, said the rock. I bent to reply, but I tripped and fell. Keep moving, said the river. I waited in to reply, but the current was too fast. Burn bright, said the flame. I reached to reply, but the fire had gone cold. I sat down to think and was left alone. I am heavy out inside. I am weak outside. I grow tired of movement, and I am dark as closed eyes. Be like me, said the wind. I am light and heavy. I am weak and strong. I am still yet moving. I am dark and light. I breathed to reply. You ask more than the others. The wind stilled. I am formless, but I shape the world. I am invisible, but vital. I exhaled to reply, that sounds lonely, yes. Whew. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty intense one. I like one. that. Any mm. thoughts on that one? It, hmm. I do Pink. like this little section with all of the opposites, light and heavy, weak and strong, still yet moving. Yep. I think that's really interesting. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of juxtaposition there and stuff. I think that's the the human condition, really. Yeah, I, I've read a lot of uh, Japanese and Chinese proverbs, and I kind of think this kind of mm. kind of harkens back to that about because uh, they always compare people and virtues to the four elements: be you know, flow like the river, stuff like that, and that. And this really sounds maybe inspired by that. I don't know. Oh yeah, I can see. That. I can see that. Yeah. It feels like a piece about belonging almost because there's like a searching to it be like the rock For be sure. like me be like this be like that but yeah. nothing really kind of fits it, it's more like trying to figure out how to live yeah what yeah. what are you going to stand for what what are you going to be burn bright keep moving remain strong yeah. like all these things are kind of jumping out at the start mm. of these stanzas and the wind asks whoever this is to be everything yeah lots everything. of expectations yeah and i like the end is kind of interesting too I exhaled to reply. I almost like breathed out because the wind is air. Mm. Mm. That sounds lonely. Yes, and I like the, the way it replies. ends. Yes. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> That's an intense one. Definitely not Valentine's Day themed, I would say. <laughs> I don't think any of these are, unfortunately. One, one I would say has a, oh. could be slightly like it, in my opinion. Maybe. But we'll get there. We'll talk about that, I'm sure. Yeah, any other thoughts on this one? No, I, 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 really, I really like it because... I always like personification of mm. things, and yes. this is really looking at kind of what's in the world and asking, what are you, what do you stand for? And it, the author really grasps onto, here's the air, here's the wind, and the wind kind of shapes the world, and it is everything. It can be weak, it can be strong. Formless. Yeah. Visible, vital. Exactly. I think it really captures the whole experience of a young person just trying to figure out who they are and having the world expect so much of them and just trying mm. to figure out where you fit in i love it yeah and i like it, uh the last comparison the wind too talk about like wandering and searching mm. like mm. the wind across the landscape my goodness yeah. yeah sometimes we feel like the wind just 
wandering. Isn't there a song about that? Blowing, the <laughs> Probably. Blowing tumbling weed or something. Yeah. Uh, there, tumbling, tumbling, tumbling weed. Oh, I feel like that sometimes. <laughs> yep. So, something like that. They, they, yeah. Something rings a bell. Yeah, I'm sure there is out of all the songs in this universe. <laughs> well, I think, uh, thank you for submitting this piece, whoever yes. that was. And I think we have another piece as well. I know we have another piece. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, we we have three I pieces. Tonight, Kevin. Lined up, please, please let us have another piece lined up. <laughs> All right, well we'll grab into that one too. I built these walls with my own hands. Carefully, stone by stone, I built them, ensuring to use plenty of mortar. I had no need for windows or doors. I never intended to leave. I only wanted to sit there in the dark. It was safe in the dark. Nothing changed there. No matter where I drew my gaze, there was only the same soft black expanse, giving the grand illusion of staring at infinity. I was safe. It was nice to keep myself hidden behind those thick, sturdy walls. Isolation, however, is untenable. As much as I wished to stay in the quiet, calming silence, I could not remain. The walls I built began to show cracks, and the mortar began to rot away. As thick and as sturdy as I built them, they could not remain forever. If I were to stay sane, the walls would have to go. I would need to accept the sunlight. I would need to hear a voice. I suppose it was nice in my little room. I took my hand and carefully pressed against one cracked and degraded stone to have the room tumble down around me. I saw just how small the room had been. No more than a small stone casket standing in a large, great expanse of everything else. The light was not harsh, but welcoming. And the sounds that had once seemed great against my ears were now pleasant and calming. The world around me was vast and wondrous. Without end or bound, it stretched out before me. It felt better. I felt like I was better. It was home. Boy, if that wasn't a piece about change and breaking up, I don't know what is. That is raw. <laughs> I could just feel that one. Yeah. Love that. <sighs> I have to say, I, I'm thinking, what? Oh, just speaking oh, to the mic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are very directional. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, it makes me think about the glass menagerie a little bit, if you guys are familiar with that. The character Laura, she is very afraid to fail in the world, and so she locks herself inside her house, and it's, it, it just is very reminiscent of that kind of introverted shy life which i'm not necessarily familiar with but <laughs> i love the visuals in this i could feel that <sighs> you know no more than a small stone uh, casket standing in a large great expanse of everything else oh that is a nice line <laughs> the world around me was vast and wondrous without end or mm. bound it stretched out before me it felt better it f or i felt like i was better it was home man being comfortable with the world how that's it it's it's I think it's a happy poem though yeah. because it's a, it's a story of learning to branch out because you need to humans need other humans no matter how introverted you are breaking down I built the first <laughs> line is I built these walls with my own hands mm. carefully stone by stone I built them ensuring to use plenty of mortar I never intended to leave and by the end they're broken down they're gone do you guys yeah. visualize a prison as well. I, it's, I think it's prison-like. And it's interesting that you would build it for yourself. It, to me, I, I just keep hearing this riddle that I kept mm. uh, hearing as a child, which is you're in, a, you're in a box without windows, doors, or hatches. Mm. How do you get out? Yeah. And, 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 the, and the old answer was always there's a mirror. You walk oh, through it. Oh, that's right. Whoa. That's pretty cool. The walls they built begin to show cracks. Man, just a story about transformation. The title of this is Walls, am I correct? Yes. Yeah, Walls. That's an appropriate title, I would say. Hmm. Same. Oh, that's so, so good. 
I really like I would need to hear a voice. Yeah, That's, something to pull me out. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it definitely looks like someone wanted to isolate themselves entirely, and they realized, while this seems nice, I can't stay sane in here. There's yeah. no life here. There's none. This is only death if I stay here. Yeah. Whew. And is it, it, could it come from a fear of failure? I like that concept. And Anything. Anything. A, f- a fear of everything, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Just the outside. I, I think my favorite part in this is the acceptance that the world becomes home at the end. That's beautiful. Like, that's like the infinite becomes, oh, what's the word for it? The infinite becomes not knowable, but accepted, mm. I would say. Accepted, and that, that to me, that is like the most progressive life-bringing part in this entire thing. That should it's be simple. everyone's goal, I think, to feel at home in the world. Yeah. And so, mm. it's great. Oh, boy. That's a that's a good motto. I should get a, <laughs> that should be on something. Put it Feel on it a home t-shirt. In the world. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't make much money from it, but you know, it's on there. <laughs> that well, is yeah. so good. Very raw. Yes. Very raw. vulnerable. Raw is a good word for it. I mean, breaking down walls. Yeah. Can't get more raw than that. Well, thank you for anonymous who submitted this. We'll touch on this some more at the end, I'm sure. So we always go back and kind of recapitulate to use the musical term for it not sure if that's not sure if that's if i can use it that way but i'm going to until someone stops me <laughs> so this third one we're going to try something a little bit different mm. um and have two people read it at the same time because there's a little bit of a dialogue in it so we'll see if we can make it work what do you see when you look up the stars mom duh see those ones over there Those are called the Big Dipper. See how it looks like a big old spoon? Whoa, look, there's another one just like it. It's smaller. Do you see it, Mom? I do. They call that one the Little Dipper. I bet you can guess why, right? Because it's smaller, Mom. Duh. She tucked him into bed that night and sat down on the beanbag chair in his doorway. The usual guard post to keep out the monsters, at least until they fell asleep. As she sat there listening for his breath to become even deeper, even and deep. Mom, I wish I could see the stars from my bed. Like through the roof. Wouldn't that be neat? And the next morning, the mother sent him off to school. And during the day, she searched for the stars from the night to give her son. She found them at the local Walmart. Time for bed. Mom, it's not that late. Can I go outside and see the stars again? Sorry, it's too cold for that tonight. And you've got a test tomorrow. Get in bed, come on. Maybe you'll get to see the stars sooner than you'd expect. She turned off the light to his room and resumed her post on the beanbag chair. It was silent for a long while. Mom, there are glow in the glow in the dark stars and the roof, the Big Dipper and everything. Look, the Little Dipper is there too. Did you do it? That is so freaking cool. <laughs> <sighs> That's adorable. Yeah, th- this is just like a story of just yeah. childhood wonder. Yeah, which so my twist on it, if you want to have the Valentine's Day aspect, this mm. is love. Oh, no, it like is. Yes. Yes. See, don't you don't you give me that little smirk? When I saw that. <laughs> no, it is. It truly is. It's 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 love for a son, mm. from a mother. That to me is like the purest love. Yeah, the, the epitome of it. In some oh, senses. I'm glad we had a feel good one. This is super cute. Who yeah. did you guys have glow in the dark stars? Because I did all I over did. my I, room. I yeah. did it one time, but not on my roof. On my walls. Did you? Yeah, on the walls and the ceiling, I had them. Mine was rough too. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was definitely stars. So cool. Wonderful. This is so just such an adorable little piece. Mom, it's not that late. Can I go outside and see the stars again? I just love that. Although it's been a long time since I've seen a small child go looking up at the stars. Right, yeah. They're, they're too absorbed with TV and video uh-huh. games and social yeah. media nowadays. Maybe this dates the piece a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Takes it away from us. When was the last time you saw someone out on their porch with like a telescope? Oh, man. I wish I had a telescope. I've never seen someone on their porch with a telescope. <laughs> you didn't live where I lived. <laughs> you lived up in the mountains. It was way, way more accessible for you, I think. Fun fact. I mm. got asked to a high school dance mm. with glow-in-the-dark stars really? on the ceiling. And they said it was, it was called Snowball. It was the winter dance. And it said, Snow, will you be my star at Snowball? Question mark. Oh, so wow. there's like, that's kind of a Valentine's Day yeah, cute yeah. thing. <laughs> so I've got a connection to that. I love it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Man, this is a cool piece, too, and this was the first time we've been able to, uh, I guess, read 
two dialogues like this. Mm. I don't think I've had that on the show before. No, we've we've never even attempted it because yeah. either it's just you and me, or you're doing it solo, or something like that, or just there isn't that much dialogue. Well, yeah, because we do get a lot of poetry here, not yeah. a ton mm. of prose, yeah. so yeah. there usually isn't much dialogue. I. I would wager to say that having a dialogue in there makes the story uh, more accessible to the re- uh, listeners. It's easier to hear like which parts are speaking as opposed to having one voice speaking it. That's true. I think that if you were to read this through, yeah. it would be kind of confusing. Who's talking? Yeah, just a little bit. And I, yeah. sorry, I don't do voices. You should. <laughs> just, I should. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give that a go on these next shows. Yeah, that would be kind of tricky. No, that was really good. Thanks for that. Thank you for submitting this. Little Dipper is what that was called. I forgot to mention that, which is appropriate. Actually, there are uh, there is a little dipper and a big dipper, I believe, in the sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, based off a true story. Oh, and I like <laughs> kind of the title. Is it like the little dipper? It could also be like the child. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. You, it's they chose to call it the little dipper instead of the big dipper because you know, yeah, it's all about the kid and his childhood that. wonder. I like that. Yeah, I love. Uh, I think my favorite like, part in this uh, is uh, let me find it. And the next morning, the mother sent him off to school. And during the day, she searched for the stars from the night to give her son. She found them at the local Walmart. That mm. just, to me, makes it real That's, in some yeah. senses. Yeah. It's not like she painted them on there and there was some flamboyant thing. It was, no, I just... And everything I, I that... And bought some glow-in-the-dark stars. Yeah, everything that a mother does for her child is, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. It, yeah. She wants to give him the world, and sometimes that is at the Walmart. And yeah. we've all had experience with that, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I yeah. came home one day because I'm a giant nerd, and I had this <laughs> huge wall-sized old-fashioned map of oh, literally the awesome. world on my yeah. wall. Ugh. She gave you the world. Yes, Aww. literally. Did she write that on there? Here's the world for you. <laughs> no. That's Aww. sweet. That's cute. That is really cool. Yeah, we should all remember a mother's love on Valentine's Day. I think Tell, so. Call your mom. Say yeah. happy Valentine's Day. The yeah. original love. Yeah. yeah. And and I think this also is a piece that's great that show that's just like there is wonder in the world. Yeah. Yeah. L- look up at the sky and, and realize that mm. we're a small speck in a really really big place Mm. (laughs) that's scary (laughs) but yeah i like that find your childhood wonder i'll do something that you're gonna hate me for brennan (laughs) you're gonna try and link all of these together aren't you they they do fit together i think in this sense Mm. i mean if we're talking about wonder and searching for things like what are all these things kind of doing this one the little dipper embodies wonder a childhood wonder of just like looking at the universe and being like oh my goodness there's something there and then the uh first untitled one we read lighten up said the cloud that one is about searching for yourself in some sense mm-hmm. possibly it's about looking to try and find your place in the world where you fit or maybe maybe not necessarily where you fit but what to be because it seems like they're going around asking the fire and the river and the wind and the earth what am i going to be and they try and answer each of them in kind yeah well it's interesting that you would compare yourself to the elements, as you said, because <laughs> they all have a specific purpose, one yeah. purpose. Yes. And But it's hard to say if we each have one purpose just yeah. like them. Yeah. And I don't think we do, and I think kind, kind of that's the point. Well, I, I, I think that that is the point, because at the end it does say the wind. that the wind asks for much more than yeah. the rest. Yes. And yeah. that's, yeah, and humans have way more purpose i think or or none yeah. <laughs> right who knows that's, <laughs> that's the, the idea I so i yeah i think they're all kind of connected in the self transformations like finding yourself but i think the the last one is being a child and having that not matter yeah so they could go in order that way it's just like blissful wonder i would say there is no purpose necessary for the last one it is mm. just enjoyment in my sense yeah. not the piece itself but the feeling of yeah. the child I would say <laughs> there is no purpose for this piece just in <laughs> <general>. <laughs> yeah they're all I don't know and even the walls one I think that one probably most so I mean it's titled walls mm. built these walls and I broke them down and now I feel at home I felt I felt like I was better Ugh, they're all just so refreshing pieces I really if I were to pick a favorite mm. I would say that I love the walls one because it it, it really has a beginning middle and end which i really like that because there's honestly it's it presents a, a problem and then the solution at the end which i think is really cool identify most with it i see i think so yeah, yeah that's a good one 
I don't know. I don't think I could pick one. They're all great. I, cr- I, I, I try not to pick favorites on I this show over, because... I guess over all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Please, submit more pieces. We love to hear you guys. Yes, yes. And we can do really anything creative-wise. I think yeah. 10 minutes before the show, we're like, let's do a double prose <laughs> right now. Yeah, we, we, like, were, yeah. we were reading through the pieces, and Sierra suggested, well, why, why don't we try and mm. read the dialogue yeah. like dialogue? So... And yeah. I went, that's a pretty darn good idea. Let's do it. Aw, so yeah. 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 Man. Well, all really great. Yeah. Well, uh, usually... I want to hear more, so... Yeah. Please, please submit more. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next thing I got to do is uh, get some more advertising out. That way more people can see this. But that's on my end, not your S's end. So please submit. That's all I can say. <laughs> Give us pieces. You guys are the show. This entire thing is, is for you guys. Um, I enjoy reading your pieces and analyzing them and... Uh, Never critiquing. I think I've made that a point to mm-hmm. say, like, we yeah. don't critique these. We um, There is no yeah. rating system. If yeah, we, we are not here to judge you. We are here to gush over, you know, un- anonymous, unheard of writers and say you're all great and you're all wonderful. And if you want to write, just write and keep writing. And yes. if yeah. you find if there's something you love or there's something that you've written but you weren't really sure about feel free submit it we will read it and trust me we will love it all the same yeah and speak your truth as long as you speak your truth it's going to be good you can't have bad poetry the 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 only thing we do have to say if there's swearing we do have to censor just because of fcc regulations we we can't we we can't swear on the show (laughs) we don't want to censor you but the government will literally flag the station if we do. I just want to keep my show. Yes. That's the best way to put it. I we, like to. We, we want to keep KZFR on the radio, so it, we will work with you on how to censor your piece if it's necessary, you know. That being said, you can get away with a lot on here. <laughs> There's a lot you can discuss. Your, yes. your, the piece uh, discussion itself can be on pretty much right. anything. Yeah. The content. Yeah, yes. the, the content. Unlimited, we'll, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to deal with the diction. The diction, <laughs> yes, which we can work with you and we'll let you know. I usually, um, another thing that this show does is we don't do much review before the show. No. Uh, and I do this on purpose because I like to be able to feel what the listeners are feeling at the same time. So if there's something I notice where I go, whoa, that stuck out to me. I pick it up at the same time the listeners are hopefully picking it up. Yeah, we, we just barely skim the pieces just enough to pick some general music for them. Just try and get the tone of the piece and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I like the idea of having the journey with people who are listening. Otherwise, I'll have like a a year long worth of analyzing mm-hmm. topics and stuff that's well, way too in-depth and no you want yeah, to get it first you'll probably first hear time. me and kevin passing the paper back and forth because yeah we we've probably just read the piece entirely for the first time so we're both trying to look at at it to really figure out what's going on yeah what else is there to say about the show submit please that's all i can say <laughs> yeah. over and over we could just repeat that for two more minutes i think no, that'd be no. stellar uh <laughs> But yeah, you can always submit to write.onair at gmail.com. That's W-R-I-T-E dot on air at gmail.com. Please, we love you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. I think we got these ones earlier today, so it was a late uh, late submission. But I mean, you can submit all the way up pretty much to the deadline. As long as I have time to print it or get it on my phone, I will yeah. still put it on here. No yeah, worries. Pr- pretty much we'll take a piece up to like an hour before the show mm-hmm. and even submit during the show because then it will be for next week. And one uh, cool thing that we've had is I've had other um, authors come on here that have yeah. books and stuff, and they get their own show. So if you have multiple pieces that you want to submit, mm. we can make it your show. I yeah. mean, it'll Good still exposure. be right there, but And if you want to yes. come, come on here and read them with us, be so that, you know, because... Re- reading's a two-way street. You write it, we read and we get what we will out of it, but it's not necessarily what you were intending. Yeah. So if you're here, you Which, can correct us. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> it's been uh, more than once where I've been like, I think this means exactly, like, this is brilliant. I know what this means. And it's then afterwards, the writers mm. come up to me and be like, you know, that was a great interpretation. Mm. However, you were wrong. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I'm so sorry. And then I turn it back on them and I say, you could have just been on the show. Yikes. Yeah. Easier. yeah. <laughs> and, and once again, you know, we can do call-ins. Yes. You don't call-ins. have to drive to the station if you're not in the Chico area. Yeah, it's not any a big age, deal. student, non-student. And, and if and if you do want to come to the station, it, it's, a, it's a room with a desk and some microphones. Guys, it's pretty relaxed. And it, I promise we're not that intimidating. 
<laughs> As Brandon gives me a look like, well. Kevin, well, Kevin looks like a child. Oh, you'll, you'll be fine. No. Brandon, you're giving them bad bad thoughts of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess to go over it one more time, we had walls and two untitled pieces, one about kind of searching for yourself, I would say. Um, searching through the elements is, I think, how you put it, which I like that best. Almost like searching the world, something like that. And then uh, one about like childhood wonder, love in some mm. senses, parental love. Yeah, call your mom. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Well, thanks for submitting all those people who submitted anonymously. I do appreciate it, and hope we get more. Again, that was to submit. You can do so at write.onair at gmail.com. That is W-R-I-T-E dot on air at gmail.com. Please, please put a picture in the port in the frame. Yes, anything. Please, ah, please, please so be on the show. And uh, we also have a Facebook page, so please submit there, um, writing on air. Uh, Facebook.com, I guess, and a YouTube page. You can check out all the old shows. Right on Air is made possible by the generous contributions of KZFR supporters and by Harrison Daily Wright Accountancy Corporation in Chico. Harrison Daily Wright provides certified public accountants specializing in accounting and bookkeeping services, auditing, tax prep and planning, management support, services for nonprofit organizations, and more. To reach Harrison Daily Wright, call 895-1209. And again, this is a Right on Air with your host, Kevin. Have a good night, everyone.